I thought it'd kind of be fun to help you get an idea of what the radio looks like that I pulled out of that to 55. This would have been the deluxe radio setup with the push button and all that stuff. But that's the speaker there. I'll, I'll turn it over so you can see. It's actually not a tear in it or anything. It's in pretty good shape. But look at this old radio. So it was a push button. And for that day and time, that was a big deal. AM, of course, only. Now, that thing is a good 10 inches wide from top to bottom. And then there's the uh, other part of it. That, that's the part containing the speaker. It has these uh, uh, vacuum tubes in it, which I thought was kind of interesting. Several vacuum tubes and transformer, uh, a couple transformers there. And uh, uh, then there's the speaker. Let me show you this. There's the speaker. No holes or anything in it. It's actually in pretty good shape, um, surprisingly good shape. So this radio was connected. These three prongs here were connected. These three prongs here were connected into the side of this unit along with the, uh, this. And of course, then the, this unit here, the uh, speaker with the rest of the radio components in the back of it were all connected to the power, to a power source. And uh, away it went. But that's something else. And let me get to the tape over here so you can see the size, how deep it is. It's about seven inches. Well, yeah, about six. Six or so, about seven inches when you when you put the radio buttons and that kind of thing in it. And uh, um, <clears throat> as far as height goes, it's a good three inches tall. Um, it's pretty amazing. When you look at the, inside the car, all you had was this little bitty radio. That's all it was, just the face of this thing popping out. And then uh, th this guy is, uh, again, is a good 10 inches. And then quite heavy, by the way. Um, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's it's... It's pretty heavy, and, and then this unit's uh, about five inches tall, something like that total. Uh, and as I said before, about 10 inches wide. Uh, but the speaker in it, it's a pretty good sized speaker. When you, when you look at the speaker itself, it's, it's not a bad sized speaker. I mean, for, even for our day and age, you know, we, um, you know, this, this speaker it internally is about nine inches, uh, evidently, about nine inches, maybe a little bit more, maybe, uh, I'd probably put that at about nine inches. And, so by about a nine, six by nine speaker, something like that. About six inches, something like that. Pretty cool. Has a, um, a, a protection, a metal, this is a hard metal protection over the speaker itself. And then when you look, if you go inside and you check out inside the uh, car and inside some of the other parts, the speaker bezel, let's see, what did I do with it? I think the speaker bezel, oh, here it is right here. Here's the, this was what the speakers behind this, this Bel Air grill and the clock, clock sets. I don't know if it runs yet. I haven't, I haven't put it on power yet, but that's, that's what the uh, speaker was behind this guy here, which is kind of cool. And the, um, the gauges and everything, the speedometer, I turned the speedometer, it actually works and there's some uh, cool stuff going on there. With, all the lighting holes and that stuff were all there, and pretty neat. Anyhow, thought you might be interested in that radio. I, I got a kick out of it. I thought it was pretty cool. Anyhow, let me know in the comments if you have any questions.